Hello, good evening, everybody. We are in here. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, we have just two minutes to start the class. Two minutes. Let me check. Let me check here. Is this? Okay, we're about to start. We are seven in this moment. I have Consuelo, Christian, Zamaris, Edith, Mary de Los Angeles, and Patty. Okay, so hello everybody. We're about to start in this moment. Okay, we have Edith, Luz Margel, Maria de los Angeles, Damaris, Consuelo, Edith, Christian, hello, hello, Fatima, Yesenia, and Roxana Duarte. Hello, Christian. Good evening. Okay, we are about Hello, to start. Evening. Hello, good evening. So we are about to start the class. Uh, today we are going to continue practicing uh, the directions. Yesterday we were talking about addresses uh, to give directions. We're going to continue doing so today, Thursday. And remember that tomorrow you have the chance to practice and to complete the exercises in the platform and the midterm. You have to complete the midterm, the evaluation. Okay, now let me see. I'm gonna practice here the first exercise. So we're gonna um, remember about yesterday's topic we were talking about preposition of places. And today we're gonna continue having a review about that. And with this exercise. Okay, let's check. It says uh, prepositions of place. It says you're gonna have some questions and you have to click on the correct answer to continue. Okay, let's say here a star. It says the dog is in, behind, between, in front, the postman. What's the answer? Behind. 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 Okay, let's see. Yes, very good. The dog is behind the postman. Very good. Now, the dog is the man between, under, next to, or in front of? In front of. In front of. Very in good. Of. Next one. It says, the bone is between, next to, behind, in front of, the two dogs. Between. 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 Okay, very good. Very good. So the dog is the bones. Um, over. Over. 
Oh, ver, let's see. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Beside. Beside. Is similar Beside. to next to. Similar to next to. The okay. tank is. Mm -hmm. In front of. In front of. No. Over. Close to. Close to. Cerca de, right? The blue oh, dog okay. is the fine hydrant. Oh, oh. The blue dog, this one, right? Is. Is he over? In, over. Let's see, over. In. Yes. In is the oh. The fine hydrant is the blue dog. Under. Under. Under, let's see. Yes, very good. The next one. It says the yellow dog is the fine hydrant. Next, next, to, to. next to the yellow, right? Very good. Next one is that the dog is in the, the in the bed in the bed in the bed okay very good and the last one the dog is on the table on the table yes the table. very good you got a very good job okay so let's see now the next activity is related to let me see the order ah is this one let me see this one no this one um is here is this directions just give me a second ah yes it's here this one okay so in the next activity we are going to continue practicing the directions and we are going to watch a video to have more or to get more vocabulary for asking and giving directions. Number one, we are going to listen together. And number two, you are going to work with your group to uh, organize a similar conversation or practice the conversation, yes? So number one, we watch the video together. Is this one? Let me see. Here. Okay, this is the video. It says given directions. Here. Okay, the first time just listen to get the pronunciation and try to get the vocabulary. Then we are gonna stop and try to understand the whole bit. Today, we are talking about giving directions. All right, let's get started. Howard is asking Bob for directions about how to get to different locations in the city. Let's listen to their conversation. How do I get to the post office? Go up Main Street. Turn left on 2nd Avenue. Go down 2nd Avenue. It's on the left, across from the bookstore. How can I get to the park? Walk down Center Street. 
Turn left on First Avenue. Walk up First Avenue. It's on the corner of First and Main. Giving directions with imperatives. When we need directions, we say, for example, how do I get to the post office? Get to is the verb we use for arrive to. For example, how do I get to the post office? Or how do I get to the movie theater? Or how do I get to your house? We use get to for the verb arrive to. For the directions, we use imperatives. For example, go up or go down Main Street. Next, we say, for example, turn left or turn right on 2nd Avenue. And next we say walk up or walk down 2nd Avenue. So let's review the imperatives. For example, when we say go up or go down, we use the street. For example, go up Main Street, or walk up or walk down and the street. For example, walk up Main Street, or walk down Main Street. Now, when we come to another street, we need to turn. So we say, turn left on and the street or maybe turn right on and the street so for example turn left on second avenue or turn right on second avenue very good now it's time to practice How do I get to the bookstore? Go up First Avenue or walk up First Avenue. Turn right on Center Street. Walk up Center Street or walk down Center Street. It's across from the post office. Very good. How can I get to the gas station? But go up Second Avenue or go down. Second Avenue. Turn left on Center Street. Walk up Center Street. It's on the corner of 
First Avenue and Center Street. Very good. All right. Now you know how to give directions in English. Oops, sorry. With this activity, I'm going to share the, the, the link of this conversation and you are going to, yes, I'm going to share the link and, I'm, and you are going to practice with your group. I'm going to place a link here. Let me see. Okay, Maria de Los Angeles is here. The, the link. Oops. Uy, lo mandé dos veces sin querer. Okay, before I continue with this exercise, I'm going to say your attendance list. Okay, let's see. Araceli Esmeralda Lopez. Present the teacher. Okay, thank you, Araceli. Carlos Arturo Olmedo. Present. Very good. Consuelo del Rosario Alemán. Yes. Chris and Daniel Alvarado. Present. Okay. Damaris Leticia Garcia Torres. No. Edith Lorena Herrera Vázquez. Present. Very good. Fatima Yesenia Araujo. Present teacher. Very good. Fernando de Jesus Morales. Present teacher. Very good. Ibis Areli Torres Guzman. Present teacher. Okay. Joaquin Jesus Galán Valladares. Present teacher. Very good. Jorge Eric Ramirez Ramos. Jorge, no. Juan Antonio Villatoro. Present. Okay, Juan Antonio Carla Susana Galeas. No, Miss. Eh, Katherine Rebeca Rosales. Present, dicha. Okay, thank you, Katherine. Lenin Monterrosa. No, Lenin. Luz Marguel García Reyes. Present. Yes. Now the next one. María de los Ángeles Jiménez Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Alberto Jiménez Majano. No. Eh, Miguel Antonio Abrego Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Oscar Esaú Mesa. Present teacher. Okay, Oscar. And Naomi Nicole Deras. Present. Roxana Guadalupe Duarte. Present. Very good. Sandra Margarita Martinez. Present. Thank you. Verónica Marisa La Alegría. Present. Good. Okay, very good. So we continue here with the video. Okay, the thing is, I have here, it says, okay. Uh, and let me check your names here. Oscar, le escribimos el nombre, Oscar. Este, vamos a ver. Uy, que se me hizo. Oscar Mesa, veamos. Oscar. Y le voy a pegar el nombre, Mister, pero tenemos que escribir el nombre completo porque si no, entonces tú vas a ir a Oscar. Oscar Esaú Mesa Leiva. 
Sí, muy bien. Ya lo, ya lo adicioné, Mr. No problem. Ah, ok. So now let's see. Ok, I'm going to organize the groups. And in the group, you are going to practice one of the conversations that are in the video. So that means that you are going to watch the video and you are going to select one conversation to practice with your group. Yes? When I enter to your room to monitor, I'm going to check you are practicing one conversation. Yes? And remember, one of you share the screen to show to the group. And the rest of the people in the group and you have to practice. Okay, Any teacher. Question, questions? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde vamos a ver el, la imagen? En el chat usted la puesto. Sí, aquí le acabo de poner el, el link, mis revisen si lo pueden abrir antes de entrar a los grupos. A mí no me aparece el link. No, ni a mí, teacher. No me le aparece. Se lo voy a poner. Se lo voy a poner en el grupo de WhatsApp. Hello. Communicate in English. Use Grammarly and feel confident with effective communication. Grammarly makes you ready. Hello again, and welcome to the intro video for unit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahora ya lo pudieron abrir. Could you open the, the link? Sí, yo lo abrí. Okay, okay, very good. So I'm going to organize. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to organize the groups in this moment. Comparte el video quien tiene, eh, eh, que, a quien se le vaya a hacer más fácil, que tenga facilidad de internet o quien lo pueda hacer desde un computador o puede ser desde el celular, pero que se vea como, como amplio para todos. Ok, I'm going to open the groups. Here we are 21, it says. They're going to work in trios. Ok. Entren a las salas. No se me vayan a ir por otro lado. Ok, go ahead. Ok, get into your room. Get into your rooms, please. To practice the conversation. Mauricio Alberto Jiménez no se ha unido, dice. Ok. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Mauricio. Mauricio, are you here? Fernando. Are you here, Fernando? Espérenme. Solo vamos a practicar, ¿verdad? Esperen, quiero ver. Déjeme ver cómo lo comparto. Hi, teacher. Hello. Si gusta, primero habla, abra el, el link y después comparte. Ay, ya lo había abierto. 
ya lo había abierto, por eso es que me... Por eso es que en me la abierto. pestaña de arriba, creo que está abierto. Aquí. Eh, no sé si le aparece arriba el link de YouTube. Espérenme. ¿Qué está ocurriendo? Dale clic ahí arriba, donde está YouTube, el símbolo de Ajá, YouTube. es que se me han movido esas cositas. Uh Ahorita. -huh. Hoy sí. Vaya, Bye. hoy sí. Ahí está, Verde. Ay, tiche, qué oso. No, no, nada que ver, estamos aprendiendo todos. Ver, espérenme. Ahora aquí para hacerlo grandecito para ello. No puedo. Como no aquí, ¿verdad? Correcto, muy bien. bien. Listo. Uh -huh. Listo. Ahí. Entonces, antes de que continúen, la, la idea es que escojan una de las conversaciones y la practiquen, ¿sí? Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero, Pero, de, las, de las conversaciones, ¿verdad? Hola. Esta es la conversación 13. Entre nosotros. Correcto, sí, aquí en el video salen varias conversaciones. Usted va a escoger una y esa van a practicar entre los tres. Ok. Ok, gracias. gracias. Sí. Naomi Araceli. Hey, teacher. Hello. Mm. Hello, teacher. Hola, hola. Do you have the link of this exercise? Do you have the link of this exercise? No yet. No, no tenemos el link, el link todavía, teacher. Okay, so now we'll come for in, in this moment. In this moment. So, here you are. Look at the chat. Check in the chat here in this Zoom class. Me avisa si lo encuentra. Ahorita ya apareció aquí el mm -hmm. link. Mm -hmm. Okay, you open the link, share the screen, and practice one of the conversations with Naomi. Sí, con la OME. Oscar. Ok, ok, ya me voy a reconectar porque cuando intenté. Ok, ok. Me botó bien solo lo que es la plataforma. Second, have it. Very good. Now it's time to practice. How do I get to the bookstore? Go up First Avenue or walk up First Avenue. Turn right on Center Street. Walk up Center Street or you say turn left on Ahorita voy a compartir. 
Gracias. Vaya, gracias. Turn left. Mm -hmm. Hello again, and welcome to the intro video for Unit 13. Today, we are talking about giving directions. All right, let's get started. Howard is asking Bob for directions about how to get to different locations in the city. Let's listen to their conversation. How do I get to the post office? Go up Main Street. Turn left on 2nd Avenue. Go down 2nd Avenue. It's on the left, across from the bookstore. How can I get to the park? Mm -hmm. Walk down Center Street. Turn left on 1st Avenue. Walk. ¿Cuál haríamos al final? Eh, la del park está bien. Ajá. Entonces... Eh, haría la pregunta yo y usted responde. Y luego. La, 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 este... Ajá. La respuesta. La, de... la respuesta, correcto. Okay. Luego, turn left, que gire, que. Y de la izquierda sobre la segunda avenida. Main. Ok. Sería escoger una, creo, ¿verdad? ¿Hola? Sería de escoger una, creo, ¿verdad? Yo creo que todas esas forman parte como de la dirección, digamos. Uh -huh. Ok, ahora yo usted. Okay. How can I get to the park? Walk down Central Street. Turn left on First Avenue. Walk up First Avenue. It's on the corner of First and Main. Ok. Si nos preguntara de ubicarnos ya en el mapa, ahí me pierdo. Eh, cuando, cuando hicimos el ejercicio del mapita. Ajá. Si usted, cuando le, le ponga el muñequito flechita, lea la, cómo se llama la calle. Si, digamos, Ajá. está una posición en el muñequito y ve que le están diciendo dónde queda la de arriba, vamos a usar walk, walk up. Para ver si puedo este, compartir la imagen. Ajá. Este... Porque ya lo está pidiendo que salgamos de la sala. Ya. No, no, no. <ríe> no. Ah, yo, yo fui ahí decía salir de sala. Ah. No, hay que bye. compartir las imágenes que acabo de tomar de, de la conversación. Ah, vaya. Ajá, está bueno. Ya sería lo primero. Sería este, pero este. Dice Jorge. 
pero yo creo que usted me tiene que contestar como, este, como que fuera su respuesta algo así. Ajá, cabal, vaya, usted me la pregunta. How do you get to the uh -huh. post office? Y entonces yo le voy a contestar. Bajar to head to the office. office. Ajá. Y entonces, go out Main Street. Turn left on Second Avenue. Down Second Avenue. Is on the left across from the bookstore. Ajá. Hoy le hago yo la pregunta y usted me da la respuesta. No. Bye. How do you llevará a Uh -huh. mm, entonces es, es, es como, eh, por ejemplo, where is, where is, dónde está el, el, el tal lugar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero sí, siempre sí. hay que empezar con la palabra excuse me. Excuse me. Ajá. Ajá, ¿dónde está el tal lugar? ¿Cómo llegar a? Uh -huh. ¿Sí uh -huh. Siempre, uh -huh. siempre hay que utilizar excuse me. Uh -huh. Excuse me, how can I get it to the park? Ajá, eso sería. Lo pongo entonces para que lo que nos reintegran al grupo. Se los voy a poner. Sí. Bueno, tenemos a la teacher aquí. Eh, solamente Ahí. sería practicar esa conversación. Giving directions ¿verdad? with imperatives. When we need directions, we say, for example... How do I get to the post office? Get to is the verb we use for arrive to. For example, how do I get to the post office? Or how do I get to the movie theater? Or how do I get to your house? We use get to for the verb arrive to. For the directions, we use imperatives. For example, go up or go down Main Street. Next, we say, for example, turn left or turn right on 2nd Avenue. And next, we say, walk up or walk down 2nd Avenue. So let's review the imperatives. For example, when we say go up or go down, we use the street. For example, go up Main Street or walk up or walk down and the street. For example, walk up Main Street or walk down Main Street. Now, when we come to another street, we need to turn. So we say, turn left on and the street. Mm -hmm. Or maybe turn right on and the street. So, for example, turn left on 2nd Avenue or turn right on 2nd Avenue. Very good. Now it's time to practice. Okay, eso es todo, ¿verdad? How do I... Sí, sí. Como dijo la teacher, este, el objetivo del, del, del video, como dijo, es, es para practicar. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces sería, eh, digamos, aquí el, el bookstore. ¿Dónde está? No lo, no lo diviso yo acá. Vaya, por ejemplo, para llegar, digamos, eh, 
vaya, practiquemos este ahorita solamente así nada más. Para llegar aquí al eh, hospital, hospital, ¿cómo sería? Ubicando el muñequito aquí donde está exactamente. En First Avenue. Yes, First Avenue, sí. Uh -huh. Escuela, sería... Sería, how can I, I get to the hospital? Ajá, entonces sería, ajá, cabal, sería don't have, eh, sería... No sería go up, go up. Ajá. Perdón, wall up, ¿sí? Sí, walk up, wall, wall down, walk up. Ah. Entonces uh -huh. vamos a girar a la derecha, ¿va? Ah, on yes. the right. Sí. Pero para decirle, ay Dios mío, ahí donde me trago yo, ahí ve, on the corner of turn uh -huh, left, turn left on in the center of street. Uh -huh. Listen, the idea of the activity era, es repetir una de las conversaciones que ya están hechas. Sí, ya, yes. ya la hicimos. Yes. Ah, muy bien. Va, entonces estamos vamos a estar en esa. Correcto. Practicando vamos a estar en esa. Esa. Estamos como practicando de cómo ubicar los lugares. O sea, la, la, ah, correcto, uh -huh. muy bien, muy bien. Uh -huh. Pero ya haciéndolo eh, propiamente de nosotros. ¿verdad? Excellent, excellent. Pero más o menos. <risa> poco a poco. Entonces, ¿se menciona primero la calle o, o no, no importa el orden, digamos, allí? Sí, sí. Por ejemplo, pues, acá, el, acá. lo que yo sugiero es que cuando estemos practicando así, ve eh, en el mapa, este mapa, uh -huh. por ejemplo, en el Word, y abajo, uh -huh. entre todos dicen la idea y uno va digitando. Uh -huh. El que tenga más facilidad para, 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 para enseñar, para mostrar la pantalla. Exacto. Y ahí se van corrigiendo, porque así, este, como lo, lo, está bien así como lo llevan, pero para estar más seguros de cómo lo, lo van este, estructurando, lo escriben, lo van dejando por escrito en un Word. Y así Ajá, cuando lo terminan, hasta donde lleguen, se lo comparten la imagen de lo que han hecho y ya les queda de referencia. Ajá, sí sería. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, uh -huh. you're welcome. Pero sí, con la práctica ya estamos. Uh -huh. Me he vuelto con el... On... Answers. Walk up Center Street or walk down Center Street. It's across from the post office. Hello, Oscar. Sí, sí, sí. Aquí estamos de nuevo. Eh, yo voy a ver, eh, ya está comenzando a participar cuando de repente normalmente se me la señal o sea, de esta forma sí, como no, yo, no, sé. no sé si bueno si era la mala señal o la mala calidad del teléfono no mm -hmm. sé pues a, por a, el momento le escucho bien a usted como si... Lo escucho muy bien. De repente sí se escucha cortado, pero al menos en ese momento que ha, que ha, que ha hablado lo he escuchado muy bien, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, sí. pero sí no ha podido incorporarse a ninguna, a ninguna sala por el momento, ¿verdad? Sí, en la última vez que lo hizo, sí, ya estaba yo allí. Estuve escuchando uh -huh. lo que querían resolver las muchachas allí, ¿verdad? Este, uh -huh. Pero... La, la verdad, de repente me, se me corta de un solo todo. Sí, es, sí, es podría ser. Sí. Y yo, eso como. Yo, no, pues, sí, será también. Yo quisiera tener una laptop, pero como 
por uh -huh. la situación en la que me encuentro. No, no, eh, yo, yo pues, ya tengo mi Qué tiempo de utilizar muleta. Ajá. Y por esa razón me es difícil, pues así lograr uh -huh. eh, otro tipo de accesos necesarios. Sí. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. Vale, le voy a... No es fácil lo que me ha ocurrido, una historia bien tremenda, pero solo con para hacerlo resumido al final de todo, a mí me han dejado hasta astillas de hueso debajo de la piel y bueno, dejaron destrozado mi hueso los médicos de hospital. Eh, saca mil según la facultad de ortopedia, porque la verdad es que eh, uno hizo una cosa y otro hizo otra y la verdad no me ha dejado bien, esto se llama mala praxia. Ah, oh, que lo siento mucho, lo siento mucho, Oscar. Eh, lo que podemos hacer es para que vayamos este, en sintonía con el curso, yo le voy asignando tareas adicionales en, 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 directamente a su WhatsApp para que vayamos Esta es en una sintonía. de las... Sí. Eh, solo para que usted vea que no me tira, pues tengo una, una de la, del par de los muertos que ocupo. Usted se puede ver de aluminio, mira, la verdad que por esa no, razón, no te... porque yo quisiera estar en una lata para no que no pena. me pase esto. No tenga pena, yo le apoyo, yo le apoyo, ¿sí? Ok. Sí. Ok, so let's continue in the, with the first, with the first, with the second activity. Let's see. The second activity, ok. Just give me a second. Let me see if so this was, ah, it's the reading, the reading. We're going to practice the reading in your book. The objective of the following exercise is that you can practice, this, that you can practice pronunciation, okay? We're going to listen this exercise. I'm going to post and you repeat. I'm going to post and you repeat. Yes, if you think that you have problems, Oscar, if you have problems with the internet, please don't, don't participate in this moment. Eh, con Oscar vamos a hacer una excepción. Si me le está fallando el internet, me va a mandar el audio al WhatsApp. Ahí yo le indico cómo, ¿verdad? Por sí, porque es, se me le va a ir cortado, Oscar, si tiene problemas ahorita. Si siente que está bien, pues practicamos juntos. Okay, por, so por now me... okay. okay, Oscar. So now let's see. The next exercise is your book. Let me see. <clears throat> Tienen que trabajar la plataforma. Don't forget. Pueden ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp ponerse de acuerdo con uno de los compañeros que trabajan y, y completarla juntos. Uno a veces así en grupo se motiva más o, o se. Sí, tengo una pregunta, teacher, con respecto a eso, rapidito. ¿Podemos uh -huh. entregar el avance de, la, de toda la plataforma mañana? Uh -huh. ¿Entregarlo? Uh -huh. sí, sí, ahí les ha puesto eh, una de nuestras eh, colegas las fechas de entrega, ¿verdad? Ya me les va indicando eh, a manera de que ustedes se vayan poniendo al día, ¿verdad? Si hay inconveniente, pues lo reportan, pero yo creería que todo está muy bien porque nadie me ha dicho mayor cosa. Ok, my friends, so the, this exercise we are going to, we're going to, and no, it's not here. Well, in your book, it is here on the page 91. This uh, reading page 91. We're going to practice here reading, pronunciation, punctuation. And I'm going to share with you this in the platform. Let me see. Is here. Yes. Okay. So this is the Yeah, this is enormous. So I'm gonna we're gonna listen and we're gonna repeat. Let's go with the number one. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. 
We'll do this by reading an article titled, A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue, between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Two. On Fifth Avenue, between 30. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue, between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Okay, so I'm going to read and you repeat. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue. Start your, start your tour, tour at the Empire State, State Building, building on, Fifth on Fifth Avenue. Avenue. Between Fifth Avenue. Avenue, very good. Between 33rd and 34th Streets. Between 33rd and 34th Streets. Now together. Between 33rd and 34th Streets. Streets. Plural. Streets. Yes. This building, uh -huh. this building has 102 floors. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor. Okay, for a great view of New York City. For a great view of New York City. Very good. Number two. A great gift of New York City. Two. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. And 42nd Streets to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between Ox to the New York. Two. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Okay, now let's see number two. I'm gonna read and you repeat. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. Public Library. Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. 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 Okay. This library holds over 10 million books. Okay. Behind the library is Bryant Park. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, 
outdoor cafe. Outdoor cafe. In a lunch hour. In a lunch hour. Hour. Free music concerts. Very good. Okay, now let's listen number three. Walk up Sixth okay. Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. Million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Okay, very good. So uh, this exercise, this reading, you can continue listening at home and practicing reading at home. I'm going to check here. Let me see the students that are missing in today's Damaris Leticia. Damaris, no. Jorge Eric. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Susena. Present teacher. Very good. Lenin Monterrosa. No, Lenin. Mauricio Alberto. Mauricio, no. No, okay, my friends. Uh, so as a homework, remember you have to complete the uh, platform. You have now different links to continue practicing at home, your reading, your listening, your writing. So there is no excuse for you not to practice or continue practicing tomorrow and on the weekend. At least one exercise every day. Okay? Thank you, teacher. So my friends, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to see you on Bye. Monday. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Uh, thank you for having me. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. So have See a good you night. next Monday. Okay. See you Monday. Yes. Yeah.